This demo is going to show how to connect Cisco HyperFlex cluster to the external fiber channel storage. Let us look at an environment with existing Cisco converged infrastructure. To connect HX to the fiber channel storage devices in that environment, first connect HXFIs to the existing SANLAN infrastructure, then create HX cluster and connect HX to the external fiber channel data store. There are four steps in this demo. Step 1. Create HX cluster with VHBAs. Step 2. Configure zoning on fiber channel switches. Step 3. Create LUN and LUN mapping on storage array. Step 4. Create FC data store and vCenter. Here comes the first step. Create HX cluster with VHBAs. Open a web browser on the local computer and navigate to the IP address of the installer VM. Enter the username, root and the password. Accept the terms and then click Login. Choose Cluster Creation then Continue. Enter UCSM login information, vCenter login information, ESXi host login information, then Continue. Select the unassociated HX server models, click Continue. Enter VLAN names and IDs, the MAC pool prefix and out-of-band management IP pool on UCS. Enable FC storage. Enter WWN pool and VSAN information. Enter UCSM firmware version, cluster name and organization name. Click Continue. Enter the IP configuration for the ESXi hosts as well as host names, then Continue. Enter the IP addresses for the management and data networks as well as the cluster IP addresses, then Continue. Enter the HX cluster name. Replication factor setting, RF equals 3 in demo. Enter controller VM information, vCenter information, and the system services of DNS, NTP, and time zone enable auto support and enter the auto support settings. Leave the defaults for advanced networking, make the necessary advanced configuration. Now click start. The HX installer will now proceed to complete the deployment and perform all the listed steps until cluster installation is completed. The second step, configure zoning on fiber channel switches. In UCSM, verify VHBAs on all HX servers, and record all the WWPNs. Log in to the MDS switch for a fabric, MDSA. Verify HX VHBAs log in to the name server and verify they are in the same VSAN as the target storage ports. Create the WWPN aliases. Create the zones and add device alias members. Create a zone set and add the zones. Activate the zone set. Now validate the active zoning configuration on MDSA. Next, do the same for zoning configuration on MDSB. The third step, create LUN and LUN mapping on storage array. Open NetApp on Command System Manager GUI from the web browser and login. Select the pre-configured FC Storage Virtual Machine, choose Create New LUN. Welcome to Create LUN Wizard page is opened. Click Next. Enter LUN name, type and size. Click Next. Select an existing volume then click Next. On Initiator's Mapping page, select Add Initiator Group. In Create Initiator Group Wizard, on General tab, enter name, operation system, and select type of FCFOE. On Initiators tab, click Add then enter the WWPN of the first HX VHBA, click OK. Repeat the step for all HX VHBAs in both Fabric A and B select Create. In the Initiators mapping page, choose the HX Initiator group, click Next three times. Click Finish to complete the LUN creation. Now validate the LUN creation, and the initiators map to the LUN. The fourth step, create FC data store in vCenter. Return to vCenter and on the configuration tab, select storage, then add storage. Select disk LUN and click next. Highlight the NetApp fiber channel LUN and click next. Click next again. Enter the name of the data store and click next. Click next and click finish. You can now review your data stores in the Configuration tab, 
and perform storage migration of any VMs if necessary. Now let us do recap of the demo steps. Step 1. Create HX cluster with VHBAs. Step 2. Configure zoning on fiber channel switches. Step 3. Create LUN and LUN mapping on storage array. Step 4. Create FC data store in vCenter.